My name is Rudy. Uh, on Instagram is rockabilly underscore styling. Um, I've been in a cars uh, for quite a while since I was very young, since 10 years old if I recall. Um, I started with the exotic cars, you know, and transitioned into the Hondas and, and uh, well, Japanese cars as I got older, more into like high school. For some reason, since high school, I've always been into the Hondas because uh, I have an older brother who got into a 95 Honda Civic back in 1990, 1997, 1998. It was this particular chassis and that's the whole reason why I actually fell in love, fell in love into Hondas because back then, you know, swapping swapping motors in, in, into these chassis wasn't as common as they are today, but uh, he swapped a Del Sol B16A into that chat, into into that car, and he took me for a ride, and, and I couldn't I couldn't believe how fast it was. At the time, I was driving a '99 Mitsubishi Eclipse, and I thought that was fast. So as soon as I went for a ride on in, in his car, I was I was hooked. I started out as in, in a Honda CRX, and then later transitioned. This is this is my chassis. This is a chassis that I absolutely fell in love with because of that car. But my first Honda was actually a CRX. Uh, nothing special, it wasn't fast by any means, it was just a, the regular single cam engine, but it was a fun little car and I loved it. So I fast forward to 2004, I got my first uh, Civic hatch with a B16 8 swap it in, had a blast in that car. Oh, on Facebook, on NWP for Life, I saw this car for sale. And uh, at the time I was driving a black coupe, but I always told myself that I was gonna get back into a Civic hatch because that's, that's my chassis. I, was, I always knew I was gonna come back to a hatchback. So believe it or not, the car was in Texas. So I bought a plane ticket, flew out to Texas, and I actually drove this car back to California. And uh, that's actually how I stumbled upon this car. And actually, the previous owner is actually a good friend of mine now. His name is Ian. When he had posted it, I actually knew I saw it. And I was like, man, that's my next, that's my next EG hatch right there. And so sure enough, I got the funds together, flew out to Texas. I've actually, my cousin lives out in Texas. He's the one that drove me to uh, Granbury is where, the, is where the car was actually located. Drove me to Granbury and from there, Drove back to California. It's a 1993 Honda Civic Si, so it has the uh, features that the high-end high-end model of the car actually had, you know, the sunroof and, and stuff like that. Things that the base model didn't really come with. So, as far as the exterior of the car, it's the uh, Milano red paint. Uh, it's uh, running the uh, raised ground lights, the 57 DR wheels. They're 15 by 8 with a positive 28 offset. Uh, all four tires are 225, 45, 15 tires. As far as the outside, it's, it's really simple. We got the Password JDM amber corners. We have the Password JDM brake ducts uh, or AKA bumper scoops. And then in the rear, we got a Password, jar, sorry, the spoon ductile wing, an authentic spoon ductile wing. Um, so on the outside, we don't have too, too much going on. The, the I, I like to keep my cars simple and clean. I don't really like the old, um, the whole body kit. I mean, I, I like them, but as far as for me, it's not really you know my thing. Born the original paint from 1993, actually. So uh, it's you know I had my my paint corrector come out, you know, really polish her up and bring out that paint. Uh, the interior is relatively stock. It's got USDM Type R seats. It has a, a Miracle 35 millimeter crossbar in the back, and we've got a Ben and B pillar bar here in the middle. Uh, it's got a hybrid racing no cut short shifter with a spoon black Duracon shift knob and uh, it's got the works belt quick release and hub with a personnel red stitch suede steering wheel and then uh, the car is riding on function of form type 1 coilovers with hard race camera kits uh, all, all the way around as well as a function seven lower function seven lower control arms and then a function seven subframe brace and an ASR sway bar. And then it's also got a K-tune traction bar. Okay, so this motor is a K24A2. It came up, it came out of a 2008 TSX. Um, internally the engine is, is stock except for a uh, 50 degree VTC gear, which uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry, a V50 degree VTC gear on a K20 oil pump. And the K20 oil pump is there for uh, extra oil circulation because on the K24 uh, motor, they don't rev as high. So they usually put uh, the K20 oil pump for that extra oil circulation to rev a little bit higher. Um, it does have bolt-ons. Uh, it has an RBC ma uh, intake manifold. It has a short ram intake. It has a PLM header. It has a full three inch K Teller exhaust connected to a K turn K2 turndown muffler. Um, it's got uh, a hybrid racing, the Griffin full size radiator, hybrid racing mounts, uh, password JDM three point brace. Uh, the car was dyno tuned. It made 228 wheel horsepower with 185 wheel wheel torque. It's got the K-tune, uh, the, the K-tune uh, AC and power steering delete. It's running a K20 A2 uh, transmission, non-LSD that came out of the O2 RSX Type S. So it is a six-speed six transmission. Um, it's got the uh, the Hall Effect TPS. And then it has a lot of key tune parts and a lot of hybrid racing parts, so no no expenses spared with, with this build. Okay, so this, for this car, uh, I don't really have too much uh, too many plans as far as the outside. I'm completely content with how the car looks. It's just simple and clean. It's just how I like it. As far as the motor is concerned, I do plan on maybe doing a mild build, uh, maybe like a head package cams, valve train. I'd like to get the motor around 275 ish. Uh, later on down the road. I haven't really touched it because the car is just super reliable right now and as far as when you start building these cars, you know, the reliability tends to get compromised and, and uh, I really don't want to deal with headaches right now. So the car is just super reliable and I just enjoy driving it. Um, the car doesn't have AC so in the summer heat it does tend to get a little uncomfortable but you know when the weather's really nice, you know, you just put the windows down, pop open the sunroof and just take a drive. And, it's just, it's such a reliable car. It actually drove me from Texas to California without any hiccups. So that just shows you how reliable this car is, especially considering it has a case swap in it. And, and so no corners were cut when building this car. And, and as far as future plans, everything I, I plan on doing, it will probably pertain to the motor. Shout outs, I gotta send a big shout out to my wife. She's been super supportive to this whole hobby of mine. I know that it takes a lot of patience when it comes to building these cars. And, and believe me, she's been super patient. So um, you can find me on, my Instagram is rockabilly underscore styling. 